guys, welcome back to the channel. We got more Mythic Americas for you today. And uh, if you caught our previous video, we're moving along and um, covering the uh, primary scenarios for the game. So just as a quick flip back here. So again, balance of the way is the, are the primary ones here. So we got plenty more content coming for you guys to explaining differences and all that if you're new to the game, but um, kind of assuming that you have a little bit of familiarity at least and just uh, are looking at these. So um, board wise here, so we have basically a river feature uh, with some bridges. Um, evenly spaced here. Um, so this one will have um, some terrain requirements, uh, but again, there's many ways to remedy that if you don't have like, you know, the sort of super fancy terrain. Um, six inch deployment zones, but let's get into the details here. So uh, set up, place an eight inch wide river in the center of the table, three bridges evenly spaced. Um, excuse me, across the middle line there. Um, these terrain pieces can't be affected by magic spells and ideally bridges six to eight inches wide. Uh, players deploy six inches from the edge and then rain. So all shooting in this game is a uh, minus one because of seasonal rains. And then the river itself uh, will play a role here. So heavy rains have caused the river to swell, sweeping all, um, sweeping away all in its path. So any models other than flyers partially or wholly in the river always treat the river as rough terrain. When a unit enters the river, all uh, movement is immediately halved. No exceptions. Um, a unit can't sprint into, through, or out of the raging river. So pretty cool there. Um, so really, again, gameplay is largely going to focus on the bridges there and having control of those unless you have a lot of flyers or other ways to essentially um, move troops uh, without uh, dealing with the river. Um, largely via magic and other abilities. Um, so uh, models entering the river must immediately make a survival roll as well. Each model that rolls a 10 is swept away um, and is removed from the game, so no if, ands, ors, or buts, which is pretty cool. At the beginning of a turn, any model in the river must immediately make a survival roll and, again, is um, uh, swept away uh, on a 10. So, victory. How do we win this crazy scenario, then? So, at the end of turn 2 and at the end of every turn thereafter, um, if a player has any non-routed warrior units on the opponent's side of the river, they score one victory point. Units with the flying ability don't score for this because, again, just a, might be a cheap way to sort of spam those, and then some people won't have an ability to deal with it. So to keep things fair, flyers don't count for that this turn, or uh, this, this uh, scenario. So bridges over the river provide safe passage and ignore the river rules above, naturally. And then finally, um, uh, note on marking, or sorry, making rivers and bridges, of course. So, again, we as we said kind of at the beginning of the video, right, um, you might not have super fancy terrain and that's okay. Any piece of blue cloth or craft paper can be used to make uh, the river and the bridges as well. Um, same thing, yeah, so uh, no need to get fancy unless of course you have those pieces, um, just, you know, because um, it wouldn't be fair to exclude people who don't have access to, like, again, like super fancy terrain um, from being able to play a scenario. So again, many ways to mitigate that, guys. Um, so don't let um, a lack of, um, like, good well i shouldn't say good terrain but like the you know the like high-end terrain or anything like keep you from uh, enjoying the hobby so again there's many ways to make do with lesser things until you can um, do that but that's also another fun part of the hobby is making some good terrain but anyway so rainy season's pretty cool here so this one is essentially um uh a battle of positioning here so you really just want to get onto the other side of the river and essentially not like run away basically um, so, but there's going to be some initial, uh, rushing here to sort of take and hold the bridges. Um, and really, you know, you don't have to hold all of them or control all of them, but, um, you know, you really want to prevent the opponent from getting across, but really, you know, um, you know, pick one that you for sure uh, want to control and sort of, um, uh, make it, um, impossible essentially for the enemy to cross there. And then, uh, you know, the other one, so basically control two of the three is what I'm saying, but, um, the other one sort of take... Uh, you know, that one will be where, like, maybe the tougher battle will be at, you know, um, somewhere there's going to be a weakness where the enemy has, and you just got to time things uh, at the right time. So, that being said, if you have troops that can get across fast uh, before the enemy gets there, and then just uh, essentially be annoying and um, get away from the bridge and just, you know, be anywhere else. Um, so, draw them away from accomplishing their goal, which is to get to your side and make them chase you around here. Again, it's a, a six-turn game, so... But, um, you know, as it says... On the victory conditions here, so, um, you know, uh, start of turn two, right, um, as long as you have 
any non-routed warrior units on their side, you score a victory point. So the longer you can keep that up, the better. And again, you just uh, need to slow them down and keep them from your side as long as possible. So focus on where they're going to make the crossing. They might not even attempt all three um, and just, you know, play it smart that way. But that's a quick look at the rainy season, guys. Let us know what you think. If you've played it already, uh, where have you found success or found difficulties and um, what kind of forces we're using and same thing for your opponents uh, let us know in the comments guys be happy to hear from you um, and have you guys share your experiences always look forward to that um, hit us up with a like and a subscribe as well it helps keep the channel growing and we got um, you know we got plenty more uh, in store for you guys here with mythic americas um, also if you guys want to support the channel a little bit more check out that description in the video link or sorry a uh, link in the video description um, uh, there's a link over to Warlord there if you guys pick anything up uh, via that link that helps support the channel and we do appreciate everybody who's been doing that. Also, if your local game store um, doesn't currently carry Warlord and you do want them to, um, you know, there's another description right below the link um, that will help give you information there so you can help get your uh, local store set up um, and, um, you know, bring bring the hobby uh more towards your area as opposed to having to order online or anything like that so check that out guys thanks so much for hanging out with us today and we'll see you in the next one take care